Hi, my name is Gisela Marti and I am the creative director for Tammy Taylor Nails. And today, I'm going to show you how to have fun by using colors and doing designs. Our guest artist, of course, is going to be the Gel Prisa. Gel Prisa is our newest line of three-in-one gel polish. It's a base coat, it's a color, and it's a top coat, all in one. So, let's get started. For our technique, Sandy the Mummy, we will be using our gel polish, Sand Castle. We will be working with our gel paints, white and brown. To seal the designs, we will be working with our Top Gel Plus. To clean, I will clean it. Now we're going into the three dimensionals. We will be working with our liquid A+. Our whitest white competitive edge powder. Our Prisma powder little black dress. We will be needing our dab and dish. Of course, our white pits and our towelettes. Last but not least, our three-dimensional brush and our dotting tool. With our design, Sandy the Mummy, the first thing that we want to do is we want to choose the background. And the background that we are going to do for this design is going to be with my sand castle. I'm going to put two coats of sand castle just like I regularly will be polishing a nail. And um, we want to be sure that it looks pretty, um, pretty thick the second coat. The first coat, no. The first coat, we want to do it as thin as possible. But we want to be sure that we cover the sides well and of course don't forget to cap very important to do the capping the capping of the nail we don't want the design to lift so here we go this is my first coat now i'm going to put it for two minutes under the lamp Now we're gonna put the second coat, two minutes half elapsed, and now we're gonna put that second coat. Be sure that the second coat covers any mistakes or any empty spaces um, that you left from the first coat. And you wanna be sure also that it's a little bit thicker in the sense of the color. Not in the sense of the glove, just the color. The sides, cover the sides, the other side, okay? And of course, don't forget to cap. Capping is important. The top, here is my beautiful nail polish already. So I'm gonna cure now for two minutes. We already cured the nail, that was two minutes. We have two coats, the first coat, the second coat um, of the nail. Now, here, what we have is the gel uh, paint white and the gel paint brown. I put drops of it. And I'm gonna be using, as an aid, a fan brush. Um, my fan brush over here, I'm going to separate the hair in a way that I can use only the tips of the fan brush. Again, I'm gonna wet it on the brush cleaner, and when I wet it on the brush cleaner, look, when I do this movement, how do I get the separations on the hair? Right there, separations of the hair. I'm gonna take the excess of that, clean it out. Again, separate the hair, and I'm gonna start working with my white, and as you see, Look, all what I do is just tip the end of the brush. That's it. Just tip the end of the brush. Okay, place the nail in the position that you can actually do the tipping of the color. And here it is. It's right at the end of my brush. So I'm going to put it just from one side to the other, just like that. 
and I'm going to do a quick cure, two seconds. One, two, come back again over here, and with the same, the same uh, way, I'm going to do it, but now the opposite way. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to just drag it to the opposite side. See right there, the opposite side, and then you're going to quick cure for two seconds. One, two, once again, I take, I load my brush, and if my brush is like this, you see over here where it's a lot of paint right there, and I don't want it, then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to wipe it, separate the brush, load it again, and here we go, okay? Again, now I'm going to my opposite side, which is this way. Once again, clean, and there you go. Okay, two seconds. One, two. Once again, go on the opposite side over here. And I'm going to crisscross that one this way. Okay? If I have to remove a little bit just to make the marks, I remove with the other side. And two seconds. One, two. Every time that you do this quick cure, all we're doing it is just stopping the, the product from moving. So like that, you can create the effects of the crisscrossing. I'm gonna use a little bit of the brown, a little bit of the brown somewhere, and I'm going to put it right on there just to emphasize my white. Since I already have color there, I don't have to worry about the quick cure of two seconds, all what I do is just apply the colors. Can you see this? This is on this side. We just place it and we also place it this side, okay? I'm not gonna quick cure now because I already have a base. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to crisscross here with the tips of that brush again down here and what we are doing is creating the mummy's bandage those bandage that they put on the mummies that's exactly what we are doing over here that's what we are creating now we're going to do a quick cure one two get back again over here now i'm supposed to be this way because i already have it this way so the opposite Load the brush again, and right there. And if you think it's too much, just wipe it a little bit. And load with the brown, the tips, just to do exactly the same thing that we did before. Right there. One, two, and we're gonna keep proceeding doing exactly the same thing all the way till the end. Remember, if you did this one um, this way, the other one has to go the opposite way. With the white first, so load with the white, right there, and also load a little bit with the brown, right there, and two seconds. One, two. All right, let's see what we have over here. We have lines that are encounter each other on the opposite way. So one comes from one side, the other one from the other side. And we're doing this all over except on the center. If you notice, I didn't put anything on this side over here. I'm going to leave it open. The top needs some accent. And I'm going to take a little bit of the brown and I'm going to accent also the top right there. And I'm going to load with my white to come the opposite right here and load with a brown just for an accent right there same thing on the opposite side okay quick here to second one two we almost done with those details of the mummy we have a little bit over here, and over here what I want to do is just put a little bit of details of the brown color, brown color right there. Just some small details, not much. There we go. We already have the wrap of the mummy. Now what we're going to do is 
we're going to cure for two minutes. So there is two minutes already and everything is completely cured. Now I'm gonna do the details of the mummy. And the details, I'm gonna do it with black and white. First, I want to establish where the eyes of my mummy are going to be. And they are gonna be exactly right in here. So I'm going to paint the center of my stripes in black. That's exactly it. Just like that. See? It's looking already spooky. Well, and it's looking also awesome. Here we go. See? That's the center. Now, I'm going to be working with my white. And white is majorly what I'm going to be using over here. I'm going to bring here the stripe and just right there with tiny details. Come back over here and I have another stripe right here of bandage and I'm just going to cross it. So what I'm doing is marking the areas that I already cured with my gel paint. There we go. And my last one is right here. And I mark it. Now I'm going to the top. On the top, come here and that's a huge one right there. Then over here on this on the top of the head, it's just one line. And of course, mark around the eyes. That's my mommy right there. See, put some tiny lines. If you want to emphasize the bandages of your mommy. Right here, I'm gonna put another one and another one over here. So here we go. Those are the bandages of the mommy. If I want to do bring some light into the bandages i'm going to use the gold the gold tone and then i'm going to bring the gold tone and i'm going to put it in certain areas where my bandages are a little bit of the gold a little bit of the gold right here okay now it's looking almost complete those are the bandages right there my next step, it is to work with my 3D. So I'm gonna use my whitest white competitive edge powder, and I'm gonna work with my black, little black dress. So here we are, using also, using also my A plus liquid. So. We have over here on the dark area, this is where we're gonna put the eyes of the mummy. And we're gonna start with white. The point of the brush should be together. If the brush doesn't have a point, you're not gonna be able to grab the small ball that you need to put over here for those eyes. So be sure that your 3D brush has a point, okay? Again, I'm gonna grab a small ball see how small it is and i'm going to place it right on one side and i'm going to flat 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 now i'm going to go for the second one don't forget that when you wipe that brush you're going to do it twisting the brush okay because you want to keep that point and i'm going to get a second small tiny ball and I'm gonna put it right in here once I place it I want to be sure that I flat the ball F 
flat it, flat the other one because the other one is almost dry. So flat it, take the excess of the liquid of the brush if you have to, to come back and flat the eyes. Now I'm gonna put a tiny dot over here of black, okay? So here we come with my tiny ball of black and look how tiny it is. Let me put it over here so you can see. It's a very tiny dot of black and I'm gonna put it right there. That's the eye of my mommy right there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Let me just move the hand a little bit so you can see it. Okay, and I'm going to be sure that I just flat a little bit that black. Go back for the second one, the second tiny bit. And if it's too big, and this is exactly too big, then let it go. Don't put it too big because if you put it too big, then your whole white is going to be covered. So I'm gonna let that little ball go and I'm gonna come with something a little bit smaller than that one. And this one is perfect right here. So I'm gonna place it right there on the eye of my mommy. Sandy is looking great. There we go. We already have the eyes of Sandy. Now she's a sexy girl, so she needs to have some eyelids. And I'm gonna do that with my black striping paint. The line has to be very, very small. Okay, let me see how I can place my finger in a way that you can see it. There we go. And I'm going to draw a line from one corner over here to another. And I'm gonna draw another one from one corner to the other. This detail is very, very small. It's very small, so hopefully you can see it. But it's not, just remember that it is like um, having a circle and look over here on my hand. This is my hand. This is the eye that we did for Sandy. And it had a, the black right here. So what we did was we passed the line from one side to the other to get the eye of my mommy. See? So that's exactly what we're doing on this tiny detail over here is that. Back again. So I'm going to emphasize that tiny line from one side to the other. And since my mommy, she is a sexy girl, I'm gonna put a little bit of shine on her eyelids. And this is the eyelid over here. This part over here that I draw right here, see the top? This is the eyelid over here. So I want to take the eyelid and I'm going to just emphasize that eyelid over there, see? But well, that's exactly what I'm going to do with Sandy over there. I'm going to emphasize the eyelid right in here. And this is a sexy girl, all wrapped, all wrapped up. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to seal the whole design with the Top Gel Plus. Here is my Top Gel Plus. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cover it, I'm gonna cover every part, and then I'm gonna cure for two minutes. So here it is, this is Sandy the mummy. And she's finished, and we use as a base coat, the sand castle, two coats. And then with the use of a fan brush, we took the gel paint white and the gel paint brown and crisscrossing some lines we create the effects of the bandages of the mummy. What a fun design. I am sure that your clients are gonna be very excited with this simple and commercial design. You don't have to worry about being so artistic because all what we have over here are lines. If you created a design or have a special technique, an awesome technique using our Gel Prisa 3-in-1 gel polishes, Want it to be featured in one of our future videos? 
take a picture, write step by step your procedure, and send it to creative director at tamitaylornails.com. Again, creative director at tamitaylornails.com. If your picture or your design is chosen, you can be the next talk of the town.